Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Mr. Johnson or Mr. Mack, and I am a student at the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul. Uh, there, I'm learning to be a music teacher like Ms. Shelton. So, for the next two months, I will be joining your class, uh, hopefully in person, but for now, virtually, um, just to kind of observe and learn from Ms. Shelton and you all how to be a good teacher. And eventually, I will get to do some teaching as well, and we'll get to make some music together. Uh, here are some things I like to do. So, I like to play my viola. The viola is kind of like a little bit of a bigger <laughs> violin. You can see here, that's me playing my viola in the St. Thomas Orchestra a couple years ago when we went to Mexico to play down there. Um, and while I learned a lot of instruments, learned how to play a lot of instruments at St. Thomas, like the clarinet, the piano, the drums, uh, I've been playing the viola since I was in sixth grade. So that's almost 12 years, I think, maybe more. So I've been playing the viola for a long time. So I like to do that. Um, in the winter, like right now, I like to ski. My family has been skiing, downhill skiing since I was like five, I think. So I've been doing that for a long time. And then just this year, my friend Jasper taught me how to cross country ski. So both types of skiing I like to do in the winter. I also like to ice skate. So winter is one of my favorite seasons because I get to do all these winter sports. When it's not so icy uh, on the sidewalks, I like to run. I also like to watch anime with my friends. If you don't know what anime is, it's kind of like Japanese cartoons that are pretty fun. And I also like to cook. I like to try cooking different things that I hear about, but mostly I think I like being able to eat after I've cooked. So I guess I like when other people cook for me too. <laughs> All right, so I am not from St. Paul nor Bloomington. Um, I'm from Duluth, Minnesota. So if you can see where this star is, that's where Duluth is, um, at the tip of this Lake Superior, kind of right by Wisconsin too. So if we're down here by St. Paul in Bloomington, uh, Duluth is like three hours, a three hour drive up, up, um, up the highway. So Kind of far, but not too far. And all of my family still lives up there. Most of them. So, this is my family. On the left here, you can see my dad in the blue. And next to him is my stepmom. And then my two sisters, Peyton and Ainsley. They're my bio sisters um, from my mom and my dad. And then... I have three step siblings at this house, Carter, India, and Ledger, and there's me. Over on the right, here in the middle are my mom and Brian. Let me move this. And then anyway, we have my bio sisters again, Peyton and Ainsley. There's me. And then Brian's kids, my step siblings, are Cassie and Caleb. And out of all of these kids, I am the eldest, so I'm the oldest sibling. All right, these are pictures of my roommates. So I live in a house that we rent in St. Paul. We live in the upper part of the house, it's the duplex. Um, and you can see here, there's me and my sister Peyton. Uh, we live together. Um, and then here's our friend Elena who is also from Duluth, but goes to school down here. Our friend Emily, who goes to school with Elena. And then our friend Emma, who goes to school with me and my sister. So us three all go to St. Thomas. Here's another picture of us, as well as my friend Jasper and my friend Spencer, who lived here in the summer. So this is kind of our, our COVID bubble right now, my family for the school year, basically. And we also live with my little kitty, Pickle. He is, he was my birthday present this year. So we got him in the middle of December, kind of. He is the cutest thing, as you can see from his pictures. Look at him. 
but he's also kind of crazy. He can get pretty rambunctious. Certain times in the night, he likes to run around and use his claws to climb up your clothes. But a lot of the time, he's pretty sleepy. Like right now, you can actually see him sleeping right next to me as I do this. You might see him in the future. He's part of our family. And that's kind of it about me. Let me know if you have any other questions. Hopefully I get to see you in person soon. Um, but thank you for having me in your classroom and I'm really excited to make some music with you all. I'm looking forward to an awesome two months. All right, see you soon. <laughs>